hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video i hope everyone is doing well i hope everyone is okay before i dive right into this video or before i tell you what we'll be doing in this video i just want to take a moment to thank my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you for the love and the support and thank you for the beautiful comments you always leave on my comment section i really appreciate you guys ah guys just don't know how i appreciate you i really do and if in case you're coming across my channel for the very first time and wondering who i am and what i'm doing well i also don't know what i'm doing but anyways thank you so much for clicking this video thank you so much for watching the video kindly kindly consider subscribing if you love my content and like the video and also drop a comment on the comment section yeah so today i am preparing one of chris's favorite meals i want to prepare some pilau and uh pilipili akukangwa i don't know how you call pilipili akukangwa in in english is it chili or salsa something in the middle of some something in between chili and salsa it goes really well with pilau and pilau is like an authentic african food like swahili african food so yeah if you want to make it in your house and you have all the ingredients you can do so and tell me what you think about it on the comments section down below now i'm disappointed in myself by the way because i didn't realize i didn't have the whole spice the whole pilau spice and i just had the powder one i ran out of the whole spice and i forgot to buy it so i am kind of disappointed because i if i don't choose the whole spice i don't always feel like my pilau is pilau if you get what i mean I always feel like I have the um, um, counterfeit pillar. I don't know how to, to say it, but yeah, and it's late at night and I can't send anyone to get it. So I'll just use whatever I have and I hope it turns out well. I hope Chris will like it. <sighs> so without further ado, let me stop rambling and just dive right into the video. I'm really hoping you'll enjoy this video because... I'm just hoping you'll enjoy this video. Anyway, did I mention how much I appreciate you guys? I really do. Honestly. Honest to God. I really do 100%. Okay. Let's dive right into today's video. And it goes a little yeah. something like... So these are the things that I'm going to be using. Onions, rice, some grated carrots, grated tomatoes, some grated garlic, grated ginger, tomato paste, some salt, garam masala, pilau masala, curry powder, some lemon, I squeeze, I squeeze the lemon and last but not least some beef cubes i'm going to be cooking the pilau here and the pilipili okangwa here i just want to start here by frying my, my beef cubes
starts to come up and separates with the tomatoes so our pilipili is ready finished up and I hope he'll like it since I've really um, since I have cooked it differently from the way I usually I normally cook it and also my pili pili was quite different from the way I usually cook it I used carrots this time and I normally don't choose carrots and I use um, I used um, green peppers when I was um, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the noise. I used green peppers when I was blending the tomatoes. I actually blended the green peppers with the tomatoes. I forgot to tell you that. 
and then I also forgot to add the black pepper in my list of ingredients but I added it while I was cooking so I'm hoping you enjoyed my video for today and yeah I guess that's it for today I'll catch you guys on the next one bye